Alright, we got a Sea Ranger can. Right, so yeah, this game sort of takes the same approach Jack 2 did. And, uh, it's sort of an open world adventure based, whatchamacallit. Alright. And, uh, if I haven't said already, I will not be attempting 100%, because I just don't know this game as well as I do the first. I'm just going to play through the missions and all that. I guess I'll collect what I can and all that. But yeah, I don't, uh, don't expect too much, yeah. Oh, it does bring back memories, I'll admit. Alright. Right, we're gonna do the training first, just for lols, basically. Crikey! You're a frill lizard! What are you doing here? What does it look like? I'm working, mate. Not all lizards are bad, you know. Fair enough! My name's Sneath, and my mate over there is Keith. Good day. I'm the cook, and he's the mechanic. Although we sometimes swap jobs. Either way, I'm usually up to me elbows in grease. Uh, right -o. I also take care of the bush rescue training program. If you want to scrub up on your rescue skills, just meet me over at that sign. I seriously think they just went round, Crumb Studios just went round the building, picked random folks saying, here, you want a voice? They were like, "Der," And they were like, come with us! Hey, first thing you need to know is how to get a better look around the place. You can do that by using the C-stick. Why am I doing this? Right to spin the camera around. And you can move the camera distance in and out by pressing up and down on the control pad. Mate, did you know that you can tailor the camera to your liking? Yes, you I did. You this through the options menu. They got that feature in already. I remember the 1960 games where a single flustered cameraman on a unicycle covered the whole event. Uh, uh. Right. If you haven't worked it out already, mate, you can use those legs of your Why am I doing this? I don't have to do this. Easy, really? Press the jump button to get some air. Just like Jess, the jumping Joey from Jabaluka. Top notch rating. Before you had your ranks, mate. You had a set of pearly white choppers. Yep, and in your case, you've got a good set of teeth on you. Just like Starkey the snub-nosed shark from Strathpine. Here's How many of those do we have to go for? Things. Just press the bite button when you're near crates or bad guys. Fair enough. And, as luck would have it... Crap, trying to think back right to here. English class, there was a word used for bite. using words that began with the same letter in repetition. What was that word? What was that again? There was a term for it, but I can't remember. Grr. Here's a skill that should come in handy. See these floating thingamajigs? They're called spy eggs. Anyways, if you press the bite button repeatedly, you can chain your bites together. Just like Billy the chain biting Bilby from Bruna. Righto. Beauty is, you can chain bite your way up to hard to reach places. Why don't you give it a go? Okay then. And it's still strangely fun to do that. <laughs> Did you know that you can use those two rings of yours as makeshift wings? Yes. That's right. You can hold them. Right, I just skipped that, I'm sorry. Okay, I promise not to skip again, because I know in Tai 1 LP I was still an LP noob and I skipped everything. Well, looky here. Some water. Just like a big bath. But you wouldn't know what that is, would you, Keith? Steady on there, mate! Anyway, it's time. We'll teach you how to swim in the water. It's easy, really. When you're in the drink, press the bite button to dive, then tap the jump button to start swimming. Right, oh. And, but you didn't show us how to dive, did you? Even though I think you're about to. You can swim alright, mate. Time to learn how to dive. I just dived! All you have to do is run and press the jump button near the water's edge. Then press the bite button to do a dive. I reckon you'll take to it like Dave the diving duck from Darwin. 
Right, ladders. I just climbed a ladder, alright? There are some places that are too high to jump up. In some of these places, you might find a bunch of vines. Or even a ladder. Like this one here. Anyways, just walk into them to start climbing. Easy, eh? If you want to get off, just press the jump button. I reckon you'll be as good a climber as Matt the Mountaineering Magpie. He's from Maruchidor. Oh my god, get a fucking rest. See that target way up there? If you hold down Ty's view button, you'll get a ring I view of the place. You can throw your rings with greater accuracy this way. Why don't you give it a go now? Okay. Why don't I give it a go now? There we go. And here's where they kind of ripped off Sonic a wee bit, or maybe they were trying Careful, to rip off mate. Ratchet, I don't know. There's a big drop just ahead. Oh, you not here. we taught you to glide across gaps, right? Well, if you ever jump off a cliff, you can reach the bottom safely by gliding. Yeah, mate, go on. Jump off this cliff and give it a go. Here's something you might find useful when you're up against Cass's goons. What's that? It's the ability to lock onto a bad guy and always hit him with your rings. When you see a bad guy, press the lock on button. While you hold the button down, you'll always face your foe. When you throw your ring, it'll head right for him no matter which way you run him. Have a go on this fella here. Yes, I did this already. See these rails? Well, if you jump up on them, you can start grinding. It's a great way to get around the place. Why don't you give it a burl? You don't do a lot of grinding, to be honest, actually. But yeah, I don't know if they were ripping off Ratchet or Sonic when... Also, Ty's not wearing any shoes, so his feet must be on fire right now. Well done, mate. You've learnt just about every bush rescue trick in the book. I've got an interesting job for you, mate. Julius needs you at the Gunner Gunner training grounds to test his latest invention. Okay. Right, I think I just remembered actually, you need to do a set number of missions in order for like an event to come round, I think. Or I think the colour of the star on the mission determines it. Uh, find Boonie. I think the green one is like the main story event. I don't know. But to be honest, I'm just gonna do whatever the hell I feel like. So, yeah, let's go off ski over here. Ah, uh, the noise the rangs make. It'll never get old. Right. Now, I kind of like this. As the game loads so that you can go into another area, it'll actually give you free opals. Not very quickly, but they're free, so, yeah. And here's Baramachi. That is it, isn't it? Buying new rangs, yeah. You can go into your parents' rang shop and buy yourself a new set of rangs. Good eye, son. Frosty Glad rang, flamer rang, lash, lasso rang, zapper rang, infra rang, smash rang, mega rang. These all sound vaguely familiar. Let's go for the frosty rang. Bye, son. 